Hi, this is Osan. Welcome to another UIP tutorial. This lesson we will learn how can we download email attachments via Outlook and then save them to folder, local folder, dynamically. Uh, for this I will use my sample account here, this one, and I have a couple of attachments on these emails and the rest of it without an attachment. Let's see how can we do it. How can we download those attachments into local folders? To work with Outlook, I need to use get Outlook mail messages. Then I need to write my account here. Let's type it here. I will use inbox folder, not only unread messages, all of the messages, messages I will read. And here I need to define variable to get my mails. So let's say mail list. And then I need to iterate those emails, detect the ones that have attachments and save their attachments on the local folder. And before that, I also need to create that folder for that attachment. Let's continue it for each loop. Let's get it here. And I will iterate mail list. I need to change type arguments here with mail message object. I will use this one, let's click OK, and then I will continue with iteration, but I first I need to decide that is there any attachment on that specific mail. For this I need to use if statements and I can understand by checking its attachments if item attachments which is attachment collection means that it's a list so that attachments has any elements if it is true that means there is an attachment on that e email so i need to download it to my local folder so if it is true first i need to create a folder then i need to download that attachment on that folder for this i will use create folder activity Okay. But I need to create those folders dynamically for each email that has attachments. There will be unique names, unique folder names for each and every email that has attachments. So let's try to create our attachments folder, which is this one. I need to play with this attachments folder name to be able to create dynamic folder names. So for this, I will use assign. Let's get it here. Let's say folder name. For this, I will use pets combine. Let's copy paste it here. This is the first one. After that, I need to use specific string, which can be mail message date or topic, etc. I will continue with the date. So for this, I need to type item headers date. But I cannot use date as it's seen here because it contains colon, which is a restricted character for creating folder name. So I need to replace that characters in date variable. For this, I need to add this, let's say to string and replace with colon, sorry, replace colon with nothing. So in this way, I will remove restricted characters from the folder name and it will be like blah, blah, blah. Date time for each email, I will get this folder name for attachments. So I will save it to here and then sorry i will create this folder and then i will save attachments to this folder let's type item and before that i need to write it down my folder name folder name let's type folder name 
so I will write it down and also I want to know if there is any male which has no attachment let's say there is no attachments in item subject okay so let's try to run it run file let's check output folder name folder name there is no attachment test blah 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 so there are two males which have attachments and there are six males without attachments let's check here so there are dates and let's check inside of the folder there are four attachments and here also four attachments for this and this one there are there is one only one attachment sample invoice and in that one there is also one attachment which is sample invoice so basically we just read our mails from the inbox and after that we iterate them we checked if there is any attachment on that specific mail message if there is any we create folder name with combining with mail message date which makes it dynamic and unique and then after that I just type the folder name that I have created that I will create and I created the folder and after that I just save the attachment that on on that specific created folder and if there is no attachment I just simply log it to here to be able to see on my output so that's all uh, for today thanks for watching if you like it please subscribe to my channel see you in another video bye bye